Hey guys, what's up? Today we're doing another video. And today's video is a full face of Rare Beauty. So, yes. And I want y'all to know that I don't have like all of her products, but I do have some of them and I'm super excited to, um, I've already like tried all these products out. Um, but I don't have like a skin tint, um, her mask her mascara and like an eyebrow product but i think like that's like the only thing that i don't have of hers is those three things but i don't use a skin tint and i don't use an eyebrow product most of the time i just brush them out so i just wanted to let you guys know that but let's get on with the video because i'm so excited okay the first step is some kind of primer and i'm gonna go in with her primer um it's a little there we go that's better um it's a little gross okay i've used this primer a lot um i Ooh, I tend to like stickier primers, but on a day that I'm not feeling like to do like much, I'll do this primer because this is a great primer. 10 out of 10, I definitely recommend this. Um, this is just like the mini size or like the smaller size. Um, and this is like, she has like six different powder or primers, but I don't know if you guys can see that. It's that one. Hang on. Yeah, it's that one. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I love this primer. Um, my two favorite primers right now. I, like, this is supposed to be just, like, all about Rare Beauty right now, but my two favorite primers right now is the Rare Beauty and then the Refine one. These are so good, and, like, together, you wouldn't think, like, together they'd be good, but, honestly, they are, so, yeah. And I was thinking about for, like, um, a brow product, even though, like, I don't have, sometimes I use this if I don't have, like, my brow products, like, if we're, like, on a trip or whatever. And I didn't have room to bring, like, my brow product or whatever, which is, like, not, like, likely or whatever. But I'll use a primer. I'll put, like, a little bit in my eyebrows and then I'll take, like, my eyebrow, like, spoolie or whatever. And I'll brush them out. So I might do that today if you guys want me to. I don't know. And then the second step would be to go in with a concealer or a skin tint. I don't, like I said, I don't use, like, skin tint. And if I do use some kind of, like, foundation product, it's, like, um, it's a short tender one. But I normally don't do that because my skin is pretty clear um, other than this that's popped up today. But we're going to use her um, under eye brightener, and it's a lot, also a little bit nasty. Um, but it smells so bad. Like, the packaging needs to be, I'm sorry, but it needs to be different because it just gets everywhere. And I don't want to wipe that because there's so much product wasted. But, yeah, and I also, I don't, does she have a concealer? I do not remember. I'm so sorry. And then I also have one of her brushes, and it's probably one of my favorite brushes. Um, this is the concealer brush that she has. She does have a concealer. I don't have that. But I this is probably, like, my favorite thing right now. And, like, in the morning, if I just need, like, a little bit of coverage and I don't want, like, too much makeup on. And I just want, like, some coverage under my eyes. This is a great product. Um, I love this because it's super light and it's pretty good coverage for, like, um, under the eyes. Sometimes I don't even have to do um, concealer. This product is just a great product. Um, I don't use it, like, for my pimples or anything because it's just, like for your under eyes i guess but oops ignore the red thing on there i can't get it off but this is probably my favorite product from Rare beauty um other than their blush because y'all know i'm a blush girly and i love their blush but this is probably like my second favorite um product from rare beauty um i love all their products and they are all super good for your skin okay the next step is a bronzer i normally go in with the rare beauty bronzer all the time if i use another bronzer to say bronzer but i've not been using this so much um i like it but i think the shade in it's kind of weird but i've got super tan so i don't even need the bronzer but we're just going to use it for this video um in winter time i definitely do need it because i am nobody's like tan in the winter time so i definitely like to use it and then i go in with my i think it's like a kabuki kabuki i don't know brush just like this stiffer like flat brush and then i just do it in like a circular motion and then i just start here and then go up i probably should go like here here and like down i don't know i just do this way um and yeah i don't know i love this and sorry that my hair is a little bit greasy yeah i had to put a lot of dry shampoo in it but i've not had time to wash it yet but i'm gonna wash it um tomorrow probably because like in the morning because i just don't feel like washing it today you know you know that feeling when you just like don't want to wash it? Yeah. But now let's talk about this product while I'm blending the rest of this out. This product is a great product. It blends so good. Um, It's kind of like the LYS one where it, like those, or everybody's saying like the LYS one is so easy to blend out. Here is your next bronzer. You definitely need to get this. Um, It's pretty like cheap for like a bronzer that's this good. Um, It is 
good for your skin, kind of, like, I don't know, on our Yuck App, which I don't really like the Yuck App that much anymore, but, anyways, but this is such a good product, it makes you look tan, and this is just so good to use, and if you want to get, like, if you're just, like, now trying out makeup, this is a definitely, a, like, a good first bronzer, if you want to stick bronzer or, like, a bronzer that's super easy to blend out, it looks really good on your skin, and it's just, like, amazing, and, like, I don't even know, just, like, so good get this one it is probably the best um bronzer that i've ever tried and i tried like can't even tell you how many bronzers i've tried but it is so good and like look how good that looks on my skin like i probably shouldn't put more sorry my thing got attached to it i probably should put more but i am just loving this bronzer and they might this might be a little weird but if you take a brush and you don't have any eyeshadow you can just put it like on your eyelids like this is the best bronzer stick I've ever had, and I love Rare Beauty so much, Rare Beauty so much, and you can also make it go up, and you can make it go down, like, to do it or whatever, like, and there's so much product in this thing, it is crazy, this will last you forever, and yes, I love this, and if it's for Christmas, a birthday present, or just because, definitely get this bronzer if you're looking for one. But the next step would be a blush, and oh my gosh, I have three of their brush blushes, so what I'm thinking to do is I'm going to stick these in a bag and then I'm going to pick from there. Okay, I have this stuff bag, so I think we're just going to put it in there and I'm just going to mix it up. I can't see and I also am so excited to be um, doing like this video because I have wanted to do this video for forever. So we're going to go with, with one of the big ones. I'm just going to take, wait, hang on, I need to get the little one out because I'm just going to know. So I think we're going to pick one of these big ones. All right, they're both the same, so I'm going to mix them up this one okay this is like the viral shade it is the shade um happy i love this blush these blushes are so pigmented you definitely sorry you definitely do not need a lot um i just put like a little dot and then a little dot and then the tiniest bit on my nose and i just hang on we're going to do something. We're just going to pull a little bit more than um, I usually do. And then we're going to pick one of the two highlighters. So I want to talk about both of these products together really quick um, after I blend it out. But these are the, this is, is their highlighter in Enchant. And then this is in Enlightened. So the same thing. Um, I'm going to pick, hang on, let me take this out. I'm going to pick these two. For some reason, this was still in there. Did I not take that out? I don't know. I might be going crazy. So I'm going to mix these two together. Oops. And they both have a big size. So we're just going to. Okay, so this is the shade Enlightened, I think is how you say it. And a lot of people don't mix them together. Like, I like to do this, though. It's just so much easier. And depending on my mood, I don't know which one I do. But depending on my mood, I'll either do that one or this one. Um, I've really been liking the um pink highlighter, the... I think, what is it, Enchant? Yeah, this is a great combo together, but so is this. So while I'm blending this out, I want to talk about these two products. These two products are great together, like, especially like I'm doing. They're so good just to have. Um, These are probably the blush, best blushes and highlighters that I've ever had. These two, they have a lot of product, and they're super good for your skin. If you want, like, a natural, like, pretty glowy and dewy look, I definitely say to get these. They're super easy to blend out, and I just love these products overall. All their blush shades are great, and so is their um, highlighters. They are so good, and I definitely recommend you guys buying them. Now, if you're using the blush, I want to talk about it really quick. If you're using the blush, a lot of you might know if you've already used it before, but you only need a little bit. I typically put a little bit more if I'm mixing it with the highlighter. Um, but if it's by my or if it's by itself, you just need the tiniest little dot. Like seriously, y'all, you just need the littlest bit um, of this blush. It is so pigmented, and like I said, all their shades are super pretty, and it's super easy to blend out. Um, I take my time blend blending everything out, but, um, I love these blushes. So you could seriously just go like this and then pat it like three times and it would be blended out. But these blushes are so good and I definitely recommend these blushes too, like 10 out of 10. And then same with the highlighters. These are so good. They're so simple, um, and like just pretty and natural and just all of the above. And they're so cute with the packaging and just a great product overall. And I just love these blushes. They're probably my go-to blushes because look how pretty they are. They're just so simple and pretty. Like, this could be it. Mascara and we're done. Like, it could be so pretty. 
but I know it's gonna be even prettier with all these other gr amazing um rare beauty products. So the next step also have their powder blush. Um this is in the shade cheer. Let's just say that it broke. Yeah. Um, I will say the only thing, um, it sometimes their powder products do break really, really easy. So I just take like that is like a lot. Hold on. Um, yeah, hang on, here's a lot. So I have one of these. Um, I want to get another one, but this is in the shade what did I say? Cheer? I think I don't know. But this blush is so pretty, and I normally just use this every single day because it has a highlighter and um, it's blush in it. So this is great. You can throw on their eye brighteners, maybe a little bit of bronzer if you need it, this and a mascara, and your makeup looks, like, amazing. Like, I don't even know what. And this is, blush is just so good, and I love um, all of her products, but I will say I tend to not, like, her powder products are not my favorite, but they're looks so good on the skin and I love the way they look but they tend to break really easy so yeah but I don't know I love the like my phone or like camera or whatever it doesn't even like I don't know you can't even tell it just looks so good like I don't even I can't even like stop putting this blush on like it's just so good but yeah I love this blush um it's super easy for a first time and I don't recommend like bring it on trips and stuff but it's so easy if you want a like simple powder blush if you're like a powder blush girly or if you're a liquid blush girly I would go with this one if you like liquid blush and I would go with this one if you like powder um and if you're just like super simple and you just want a couple products to just put on definitely this is a great one because it already has highlighter in it and it's just so pretty and glowy and they have amazing shades in this and it's just so good so good for your skin and it's just a really good product in all so I love this blush so much, and yeah, I definitely want to get another shade in it when I get a chance. But anyways, the next product, I've got to, like, keep on because I'm just going to talk about it too much because they're just so good. But the next product is another one of her powder products. This is their highlighter and Enlighten. It's the same one that we used, but I don't like to, or I'm not. But... Sorry, my phone case just fell, but. I don't, like I was saying, I don't like to use it, um, their liquid one on my nose because I like this one better for that. Um, this one's also went through, I bought it in New York and on the plane they threw my bag and it broke. So, oops, I can't even get it open. Hang on. It's probably going to go everywhere. I can't get it open. Hello? Wait. Oh, there it went. This is the best. <laughs> I've used this so much. This is literally the best highlighter you will ever get. It is pretty cheap, I would say. Um, not compared to, like, drugstore stuff and, like, Ulta and stuff. But this is such a good product. Don't look how it looks. But, yeah, it's also, like, super dirty. <gasps> Why did I do that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm, like, don't even know what I'm doing right now. Anyways, it is shut, shut, oh, my gosh. This is not how it's supposed to go, but that is such a good product, and I love um, doing, like, my highlight with it. We're just going to put a little bit in here. Yeah, this is so good. Look at that. It's, like, the best highlighter. Oh, yeah. I love it. Um, And then, let's see. That's not how it's supposed to go. Like, here, let me get it. Okay, let me just um get some here. And then I just like to put it in my inner corners inner corners like i said i don't recommend um traveling with um any of her powder products or any powder products just like in general um all my other powder products don't t like the charlotte tilbury like powder or whatever and um, they don't tend to break i'm not saying like anything bad about her but like they don't tend to break so um yeah that's one thing that's kind of like not annoying but it's kind of like i don't even know what Anyways, um, but yeah, I don't, like, recommend to bring her powder products, like, if you're going somewhere, just, like, her liquid ones, and that's another, like, I'm not the biggest fan of her powder products. Like I said, they look great on the skin, and it's, like, a great product. Product, if you keep it at home, I would not, um, recommend traveling with it, but if you're keeping it at home, it is a great product, um, like, this highlight is, like, it's, like, it's, like, whatever, um, but, but, at least it my voice for some but then I like to take this, um, really big real techniques brush and just like blend it out on the sides because sometimes it can get a little too much because this is just like it's too good so yeah um i'm like don't even want smacking myself in the face with it 
So yeah, that is a great product. 10 out of 10. It's so good for your skin. Pretty cheap um, and just amazing product. And we might have to add some more blush because I'm feeling I need a little bit more blush. I think we might have to. Alright, we're going to use Happy again because that's like what we got. Oh wait, should I do? No, we're going to do this. I was going to do like the powder one, but. And like, I'm so extra with blush. Like, this is like a lot of blush already because um, we did two kinds. But like, if you're a blush girl, you're, this is like your blush. Like, look at that. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm going to finish blending this out, and then we'll move on to the next product. And then I'm also, I'm going to show you guys a little sneak peek. We're going to, oops, oh my gosh, I'm like going crazy. Um, We have two more steps, but I'm going to wet my beauty blender, or like get my beauty blender wet. Wet with the setting spray or whatever, I don't even know. I'm just going to go under my eyes. I don't have their powder either. Do they make a powder? I can't remember, but this like makeup is like bomb. I love this. Okay, so, yeah. Looky there, it's so cute. Okay, like I said, I don't have um, a mascara, but I think we're just going to curl my lashes because I've just been liking to um, curl them. So, we're just going to curl my eyelashes. Um, ow. <laughs> I'm going to curl them off camera. Okay, my eyes are always water, so it's, I didn't hurt myself or whatever, but, yeah, um, I want to get their mascara, though, because I've heard so much good things about or like, a lot of good things about it. And I definitely want to get that because, look how, like, look at this. My eyes just water so bad. Um, I definitely want to try that, their mascara out, like, really, really bad. Because I love mascara. Like, that's not how you do it. Okay. But I love mascara, so, yeah, okay. Guess we're going to try it. I'm scared. I don't, I haven't done this in a long time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know if this primer will do it because it's not, like, like I said, it's not a super sticky, um, primer, but we're going to try. And if you guys didn't know this, you should. Here's, like, a little tip or whatever. But now you just brush them out. I might start doing this because I don't like my brows to be, like, super sticky or whatever. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, that's working. They're already, like, stuck. I can't even move them. Okay. Yeah. That might be better than, like, my own brow gel. I'm gonna shape that one right. Perfect. Okay, I love that. Um, that definitely works like super good. Okay, I see, I see. Um, but yeah, I love that. All right, next product. All right, I don't have the lip liner either. I'm like starting to think of stuff now. But we're gonna set our makeup with their spray. This is um. Oh, always in Optimus, maybe I don't know. I'm just gonna shake it up. And their packaging is so simple and cute. I will say, this tastes really bad. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, I don't think you're like supposed to taste it. Sorry, I feel like I didn't like get enough. It's like it spurs like super easy and like super light on the skin. But I feel like I did not get enough. I love setting spray. But this setting spray is great, and it is a huge bottle for, like, so little, like, money or whatever. And I love this primer, or primer, but they are setting spray. Um, my go-to right now is the Sephora setting spray, but these two, I feel like, can be really close. Um, this definitely sets my makeup, I will say, a little bit more. This sets it really good, too, but I also feel like another part of it is, is I love the sticky primers, and I feel like the sticky primers work better than just, like, the not sticky primers. And this is super good. Just like try to set it, but personally, I don't think it sets it. That's just me. But yeah, I normally spray a lot of this if I use it, which I've been using it a lot more. That's why I'm like almost out. And this is like my daily um, setting spray. And I just want to go back and get more because I'm actually liking this. It makes it like super glowy. Can you see that? Now you need like a setting powder. It's an excuse to go back to Sephora. I love my excuses when I can go back to Sephora. But the last thing that we have is, oops, their, um, what is this? Tinted Lip Oil. Um, I will say I like this, but I'm not like the, I like it, but it's definitely not my favorite. Um, I have like a lot of lip products and honestly, I don't know. I'm not the, like I said, I like my lip products, but this one's definitely not my favorite. Um, I, uh. Mm. it's okay it's definitely not my favorite it tastes horrible like i'm sorry but it really does not taste good and this is in the shade hope though and i had another one 
but I had another one and it was super I don't I think I got the wrong shade and I'm not like it was kind of brownie and I didn't like that but I do like um the brown closest one it's like straight brown brown and I love it but I like this um it's not no it's not with the makeup look I don't like it with makeup but um yeah I'd say it's a pretty good product and I'm gonna wait like five minutes and then take this off and then put a clear gloss over okay this makeup look looks like it. I said it. I'm still waiting for my lips, but I said it was some Char Charlotte Tilbury powder, and flawless. All right, can you tell me which is which on my lips? Okay, so the top still has um this on it, and then I wiped the bottom off, and then put the um new Tar 28 clear gloss on it, and I feel like I'm gonna mix them together now, but I feel like it's pretty good now. I like it better, but with just like the clear gloss um maybe that's what's called like a tinted lip oil maybe like you wipe it off and you just leave it if you want something matte and if you want something glossy let's actually let's try the um i have this clear gloss as well it's kind of gross but i've used it a lot with um other lip products just like this i think i've used it one time before but this is the nyx um fat lip drip oil it's not really fun oil you uh that's gross. Okay. Hang on, let me go, like, do something. Okay, I just came back from that. That was, like, disgusting. Um, I, like, wiped it off and stuff. But this is um their lip oil, and it's more of a lip gloss. I don't, um, uh, I know my lip oils, trust me. And I love the, uh, Dior one. Oh, yeah, hang on. Oh, yeah. It's pretty. It's, like, not glossy, as you can see. It's more of a matte. I feel like I should have done this. Hang on. I feel like I could have done this and it would have been like more. Yeah. Yeah, this would have been a little bit closer. It's still a difference. But, yeah. Uh, I um, used to always do this, but it's definitely not a lip oil, like I said. Um, yeah. I'd say it's pretty good, but um there let's see where is it at here is an actual lip oil this is an I actually have the house vibes too and i don't hang on we gotta talk about this really quick but after um all that i think this makeup look turned out pretty well okay i put a little bit more powder on and then we're gonna set it one more time i'm just gonna oops I'm not coming out i did it this way three times and then this way two times. I don't know if that's actually supposed to do it, but sometimes I just do that. Um, but yeah, I rate this makeup like a 10 out of 10. This is probably gonna be my go-to makeup look every day now. Um, this is so good. It looks like I have foundation on, like, and it is, let's see, let's count. So one step for the primer, two step for the um, eye brightener. There's a third step for the blush and a fourth step for the bronzer. And then the highlight and the lip. Seven steps. And it is so easy. Like, look how cute that is. I and I also want to say before I go, I'm sorry I haven't been posting a lot. I've been really, really busy this week. And, yeah, so I'm going to go take a shower. But that is it for today's video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.